Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not sure, but... Oh. I don't know. Something in my eye. I don't like that at all. Okay. Well, good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday, June 27th. And uh, I would like to say that it is beautiful. The sun is shining. Um, but we are in the, uh, the aftermath of cloudiness of that little storm we had last night. Um, there was the lightning, there was the thunder. Um, all in all, I thought it was beautiful. Um, so, brothers and sisters, today is also uh, the, um, the memorial of St. Cyril of Alexandria, uh, the great defender of, uh, of Mary under the title Mother of God, Theotokos, God-bearer. Um, the uh, bishop and doctor of the church, uh, Cyril of Alexandria. So, we begin our morning prayer again with the invitatory, and so we begin, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Christ is the world's light, he and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father, glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace, he and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else unites us? One in God the Father, glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life, he and none other, sold once for silver, murdered here our brother, he who redeems us reigns with God the Father, glory to God on high. Give God the glory, God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God and man, my brother, glory to God on high. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, to proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. On the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp, your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your designs! 
O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish, all doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. To proclaim that the Lord is just, in him my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take away our shame from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. We do well to sing to your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. I will create a new heart in you and breathe into you a new spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will create a new heart in you, and breathe into you a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name! You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. On the lips of children and infants you have found perfect praise. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. What we, await are a new, uh, what we await are new heavens and a new earth, where, according to his promise, the justice of God will reside. So, beloved, while waiting for this, make every effort to be found without stain or defilement, and at peace in his sight. Consider that our Lord's patience is directed toward salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song, to sing as I ponder your goodness, to praise you with song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us adore God, who has given hope and life to the world through his Son. Let us humbly ask him, Lord, hear us. Lord, Father of all, you have brought us to the dawn of this day. Make us live with Christ and praise your glory. Lord, hear us. You have poured out faith, hope, and love upon us. Keep them firmly rooted in our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, let our eyes be always raised up to you, so that we may swiftly answer your call. Lord, hear us. Protect us from the snares and enticements of evil. Keep our feet from stumbling. Lord, hear us. We call to mind also all of those people that we've promised to pray for, all of those intentions that we hold in our hearts, all of those people who have simply asked for our prayers. And as we call them to mind now, bringing all of these intentions, all of these prayers, all of these praises into one, we use those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us. And so together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, the Bishop Cyril courageously taught that Mary was the mother of God. May we who cherish this belief receive salvation through the incarnation of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me from for morning prayer. Um, again, it is uh, not exactly bright and sunny out, um, and I have not looked at any sort of forecast to see what it's going to be. Um, but either way, I'm hoping that you have a beautiful day today. Um, so um, if you're able to get out, get out. Uh, but remember, please be safe today, be healthy today, but above all, remember our call to holiness. Be holy today. All right, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you each day and throughout all of today.